हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ अवर लेसन नाइन ह्यूमन एनवायरनमेंट सेटलमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट कम्युनिकेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट इज द मींस बाय विच पीपल एंड गुड्स मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर इन द अर्ली डेज इट टूक अ ग्रेट डील ऑफ टाइम टू ट्रेवल लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस people had to walk and used animals to carry their goods invention of the wheel made transport easier with the passage of time different means of transport developed to a great extent transport also linked centers of production and consumption today even skills and ideas through people move from one location to another using transport systems transportation roadways railways airways waterways roadways the most commonly used means of transport are the roads especially for short distances Roads can be metalled pakka and unmetalled kachcha. They are the best means to link the rural and urban areas across the country. In developed countries, road network is very good. The plains have a dense network of roads because it is much easier to construct roads in plains than in the mountains. In India, we have national highways connecting all major cities of the country. There are state highways and district roads which connect all cities. and towns manali le highway in the himalayan mountains is the highest roadway in the world roads built underground are called subways whereas flyovers are built over raised structures express ways are the latest addition to the indian road network Modern highways provide high speed transport. Roads have now been built in deserts, forest and mountains. Eastern USA and Western Europe boast of the densest and best quality roads in the world. The Trans East African Highway connecting Cairo and Cape Town is nearing construction. Australia has the Transcontinental Stuart Highway as its major road link. Railways. Railways are the fastest and the cheapest means of land transportation over longer distances. Diesel and electric engines have largely replaced the steam engines. Electric engines are fast and eco-friendly. They do not cause pollution. Railways carry the bulk of raw materials to industrial centers and then transport finished goods to various parts of the country. and to ports for export with developing technology and high speed trains connectivity with in accessible areas have become a reality for instance the lhasa zhingning train runs at an altitude of 4000 meters above sea level The Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest rail route connecting Saint Petersburg in Western Russia to Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. The Trans Mountain Rail network runs across the Pyrenees, the Alps and the Carpathians in Europe. 
द रेलवे नेटवर्क इन अफ्रीका ऑस्ट्रेलिया एशिया एंड साउथ अमेरिका वॉज डेवलप बाय द इम्पीरियलिस्ट यूरोपियन कंट्रीज टू एक्सप्लॉय द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज ऑफ द रीजन्स फैक्टर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रेलवे लाइन्स आर रिलीफ फीचर्स क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस डेंसिटी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेस रेलवे नेटवर्क इज मोर डेवलप्ड इन द प्लेन्स दैन इन द माउंटेन्स Indian railway network is well developed and is the fourth largest in the world. Waterways. Waterways are the oldest and the cheapest means of transportation to carry heavy and bulky goods over long distances. Waterways are mainly of two types: inland waterways and sea routes. inland waterways navigable rivers canals and lakes are used as inland waterways some of the important inland waterways are the ganga brahmaputra river system the great lakes in north america and the river nile in africa st lawrence is the world's busiest inland waterway Other important inland waterways are the Amazon, the Yangtze, the Mississippi and the Rhine. Some of the busiest canals are the Suez, the Panama and the Kiel. The development and traffic on the waterways depend on the continuity of flow and depth of the water body. Sea routes and oceanic routes are mostly used for transporting merchandise and goods from one country to another. These routes are connected with the ports. Some of the important ports of the world are Singapore, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo and Mumbai in Asia. New York, Los Angeles and Chicago in North America, Rio de Janeiro in South America, Durban and Cape Town in Africa, Sydney in Australia and London and Rotterdam in Europe. Important sea routes of the world are North Atlantic route which connects eastern North America with western Europe, Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean route connecting Europe, East Africa, Cape of Good Hope, South Asia and Far East. Major seaports of India are Mumbai, Kandla, Kochi, Chennai, Visakhapatnam, Kolkata. Airways. This is the fastest and most comfortable means of transportation and also the most expensive due to high consumption of fuel. Air traffic is adversely affected by bad weather. like fog storms etc it is the only mode of transport to reach the most remote and distant areas especially where there are no roads and railways helicopters are extremely useful in most inaccessible areas and in times of calamities for rescuing people and distributing food water clothes and medicines some of the important international airports are delhi mumbai new york london paris tokyo rome shanghai sydney dubai rio de janeiro san francisco and frankfurt air services are of two types domestic airways fly within the boundaries of a country 
international airways fly abroad and connect major cities of the world perishable and expensive goods are mostly transported through airways communication communication is the process of conveying messages sending or receiving and ideas to others Today's world is shrinking because various modes of communication provide us worldwide information and interaction. With the development of technology, humans have devised newer and faster modes of communication. The invention of printing press, radio, television, satellites, radar and computers have greatly revolutionized the communication system. Satellites have helped in oil exploration, survey of forest, underground water, mineral wealth, weather forecast and disaster warning. postal and telegraph services telephones emails etc are personal means of communication through newspapers magazines radio television films etc communication can be done with a large number of people at the same time this is known as mass communication Mass communication can provide both education and entertainment. Wireless telephonic communications through mobile phones have become very popular today. Internet not only provides us with worldwide information and interaction but has also made our lives more comfortable. It carries many network services most prominently mobile apps the world wide web electronic mail internet telephony etc Humans and the environment affect each other we depend on it people depend on the environment such as rivers for water supply and transportation we modify it people modify their environment by heating and cooling buildings for comfort building dams cutting and planting trees etc we adapt to it people adapt to the environment by wearing clothing suitable for summer shorts and winter coats changing our diet with the seasons etc So here we complete our chapter 9 human environment settlement transport communication if you have any doubt or query you can ask me in the comment section below also you can find the links to other lessons in the description box below thank you everyone